Long Division of Polynomials. Long Division. Right, well, back in my day, and I include myself, we divided numbers by long division. We didn't have calculators. And we had a system. Very simple. You divide, so you say 3 into two, 7 goes 2. Then you multiply, so 2 3s are 6. You subtract, 7 minus 6 is 1. Then you bring down 5. And then you repeat the whole process. You say 3 into 15. And we go through the whole process again. Clever minions. Right, so let's have a look at this one. We're dividing x squared minus 5x minus 14 by x minus 2. Right, let's put it in the long division sign. Now, when we divide polynomials, we only divide, we make sure they're in the same order. So, if this is descending powers, this must be descending powers. Otherwise, it's going to be one Musa mix up. x into x squared gives you x. Right? So, we're going to divide x to x squared, give you x. Next step, we're going to multiply. So we're going to take x and multiply x minus 2. And we end up with x squared minus 2x. Now we're going to subtract. Now to subtract, remember, we change the sign on the bottom line and then we add. And of course, x squared and negative x squared, cheers, minus 5x plus 2x minus 3x. Now the next step, we're going to bring down. So there we are. We brought down. Let's have a look at watching it come down again. There we are, watch. Clever, clever, like a lift. There we are. Now, we finished, so now we're going to repeat the process. We're going to say, okay, x into minus 3x gives you minus 3. Now we're going to multiply. So we're going to say minus 3 times x minus 6 gives you minus 3x plus 6. Next step, subtract. Change the sign on the bottom line and add. So those go minus 14 and minus 6 gives you minus 20. x won't go into minus 20 now, so there is your remainder. There we are. Next example. So, descending powers, descending powers. It's useful to note if there are any missing, like x cubed, x squared, x, no x, great. Because if there's an x squared missing, we should leave a gap for it. We'll pick up one just now. So, first step, we're going to divide. So, we're going to say x into 2x cubed, giving us 2x squared. Next step, we're going to multiply. So therefore, we're going to say 2x squared times x plus 2, giving us 2x cubed plus 4x squared. Now we're going to subtract. Change the sign on the bottom line and add. Totally 2, that goes, and those add, you get minus 7x squared. Bring down the next term. So there we are, we're going to bring down that term there. Now we're going to divide again. We're going to say x into minus 7x squared. So that gives you minus 7x. There we are. Then we're going to multiply. Minus 7x times x plus 2 gives you minus 7x squared minus 14x. We're going to subtract. Change the sign on the bottom line and add. So that goes 4x plus 14x gives you 28x. I mean 18x. Whoops! And we're going to Bring down, so therefore 36 comes to there. Now we're going to say x into 18x gives you 18. Multiply, and we end up with 18x plus 36. Subtract, change the sign on the bottom line and add. 
Oh, there you go. So this has gone perfectly. So there's your answer. Let's have a look at the next one. Now have a look here. We'll look at it later as well. But x cubed x squared, there should be an x there. That's going to give us a snag. Well, anyway, we'll meet that just now. Okay, divide. And we get 2x squared. Multiply. Subtract. Change the sign on the bottom line. And add. Bring down. Divide. There's your result. Multiply. Oh dear. These are unlike terms. So we can't do that. Now this tells us there was a gap for 2x. So let's extend. Oh, that's quite clever. Let's do that again. There. Let's extend it to there. Leave a gap. That's fine. To subtract 2x from nothing. Now we can subtract. Change the sign on the bottom line. Add. Cheers. This becomes minus 2x. And we're going to bring down. There we are. Now we're going to say 2x into 2x minus 2x. 2x into minus 2x gives us minus 1. Multiply. There we are. Minus 1 times 2x minus 1 gives you minus 2x plus 1. Subtract. Change the sign on the bottom line and add. Cheers. And this becomes... 35, and that is our remainder.